All right, just bought a DLE 35 RE. Um, I've already put a Bowman ring on it. Already done the reed modification as far as flattening them out. And I was told by Mr. Bowman that I needed to check the timing because a lot of these things are shipped with the timing uh, quite a bit off. So I found this little guy right here on hobbyking.com. And basically what you, you can do is it will mimic a timing pulse from 400 RPMs up to, I believe, 10,000 RPMs. And the other thing you can do with it is it comes with a degree wheel. And if you hook in to this red and black wire right over here, the two different plugs, you hook one side in to your uh, hall sensor pickup. And uh, as soon as you, you hook the other side up to a uh, battery, just a 4.8 volt battery, something like that, just like I have sitting there, and as soon as it goes past the hall sensor, it will go ahead and uh, make a buzzing tone out of a little buzzer right over here. And that allows you, in concert with the degree wheel, to check and see where your timing is. On my uh, brand new DLE35RE, the timing is actually at 36 degrees before top dead center. Um, I've reset it. The furthest I can get it over without modifying anything was 29 degrees. But uh, let me show you how this, uh, this little guy works right here. I'm going to plug the battery in to the ignition module and as soon as I do you can probably hear it that's showing um, 350 RPMs and then I just turn the little restart right here And we're going up through uh, 2,000 RPMs. And right around 8,500 RPMs right here. And it'll go up, well, past 10,000. So anyway, I think it was like $12 shipped from a uh, Hobby King. Kind of a neat little uh, box. It works great for uh, checking the timing on your engine, on a ignition engine, like I said. The ignition on this particular engine was set at 36 degrees before top dead center. Um, using this little uh, gadget, I was able to reset it, like I said, to about 29 degrees. And I'm able to check out the ignition module just to see if I have functionality by hooking into the under, other end of it, again with a 4.8 volt battery, and I can dial it up as needed. Anyway, pretty neat little toy.